A California man in his 60s shot and killed a 27-year-old armed man who broke into his house last Tuesday morning, according to the Fairfield Police Department. The homeowner was having breakfast with his wife when the intruder, who was on parole for another home invasion out of Alameda County, started knocking on the door at 8.30 a.m., then kick the door in. Live Copter 3 giving us a bird's eye view of the crime scene. At 8.30 this morning, police say a man knocked on the door of a house on the 600 block of Vintage Valley Drive. When no one responded, he kicked the door in. Little did he know, the homeowner had spotted him on a ring camera. Police say the suspect then stumbled into the street, suffering from gunshots to the chest. The homeowner called 911. Emergency response teams tried to revive the man, but he died on scene. I was horrified. Fairfield City Councilwoman Catherine Moy expressing shock over a deadly home invasion that disrupted the normally quiet neighborhood of Cordelia. It strikes me in my gut. Very unusual. We don't have that out here. We just don't. But we can't have that. People have to be safe. Councilwoman Moy planning to bring several initiatives forward at tonight's city council meeting, including increased police patrols to respond to what she calls a rise in violent crime in Fairfield. We just need to hire overall more police officers. Um, we need them. Our city is growing exponentially, actually. We're building a new fire station here, and I'd like to have a substation there so a police officer, a patrol officer, can work out of there. Police add that the suspect was on active parole for at least one previous home invasion case in Alameda County. So as far as I know, there is no known relationship between the homeowners who are true victims here. The suspect did kick the door in off the hinges and the suspect was shot by the homeowner. We do know that the suspect uh, was armed with a handgun and uh, semi-automatic that was loaded with an extended magazine. So whatever the motive was, it does not look like it was peaceful or legal. Now, about 125 miles east of this shooting in Fairfield, two home intruders were shot in separate incidents the week prior. This week, a home intruder has been shot and killed in Modesto. Live Copter 3 was up over Service Road earlier where deputies say a homeowner shot a man this afternoon. So earlier this week on Tuesday, deputies told us that an elderly woman had shot and killed another woman who was breaking through the sliding glass door of her home with a fire extinguisher. Well, today deputies say the intruder actually got in before he was shot and killed. Today's incident on Service Road was about 50 miles away from Tuesday's shooting on Blue Gum Avenue. There's no indication the two shootings are related. We spoke with a friend of the homeowner who says that the homeowner, homeowner has been burglarized at least three times before. The home that we're talking about is just beyond these cornfields behind me. Uh, we're going to look at a view now from Live Copter 3 as deputies poured over the area. Investigators say a man was shot around 1240 this afternoon. They say a homeowner received a notification that his alarm went off. When he went to his west service road home to investigate. He found a suspected intruder. Ultimately, the homeowner shot that man. We spoke with the homeowner's friend who says this is not the first time the homeowner has dealt with break-ins and that many families who live around here deal with burglaries. But a sergeant says cases like this is rare. You wishful thinking for everything to stop, you know, for people to stop robbing other people and stuff and, you know, get a job instead of having to rob people to, to make a living. It's definitely uncommon, I, I, I think is, is fair to say, with these specific circumstances and mostly given that it's so rural and somebody was ultimately pronounced deceased. They identified the intruder as 41-year-old Rodney Lee Martin of Turlock. Shortly after the homeowner entered the house on Friday, the suspect shot him several times. The homeowner returned fire, hitting him. Deputies arrived and found the intruder dead from a gunshot wound. No arrests have been made. And Fairfield police tell me that the homeowners are shaken, but are otherwise doing okay. And so looking at this story this morning, um, you know, we can see that plainly um, we, need, we need guns in our home. You know, this is an argument for or against gun control. This is an argument for the Second Amendment, for having a gun in your home. If they go with this gun control uh, issue and, and want to take guns out of our homes, they leave us defenseless. These people, this, all three of these stories would end up a lot differently. So this is an argument against gun control or maybe for gun control. Yeah, put control of guns in the hands of the people, Second Amendment.
but that's why I want to do this one is this, you know, this other guy on parole for home invasion, home invades somebody. And of course he won't home invade anybody again, but he never learns. You know, when, when, when we don't learn from our mistakes, we're condemned to repeat them and live by them. And well, sometimes it don't turn out so good. What do you all think? Let me know in the comment section below. Community, watch. That's right. I watch Leos and communities across our country.